Morning Scholars, I'm Matthew Swisher. And I'm Jessica Duncan. And on this final Friday of April, we will witness the special story of students and teachers' lives. Here's Tony with the first package about Miss Myers and her story. And the goals of the Black Panther Party. And served as a model for other activists. I'm Miss Myers. I teach U.S. History and Economics here. So going to school in Mount Morris, it's just a tiny town in uh, Michigan and there were maybe a table full of minorities. There was no one there that didn't speak English as their first language. Uh, most people were the same religion, so it wasn't very diverse there. I love working here. I love that when I look at my classroom, often it's like I'm in a TV show. Like they purposely put together a group of people so that they could um, connect with a different type of audience. And I love this, that my students are able to, like, to experience things that I didn't get to experience. I think it's amazing. In order to get everyone to feel as comfortable as possible, you need to make sure that people are can communicate as much as possible. So sometimes I will, for the warm-ups, I put English, I put Spanish, and depending on who's in my class, I'll try to finagle some French or something like that. But really, I just try to make this class as comfortable as possible. You know, there's not that stress. Well, there's always a stress. No one wants to be in front of anybody. But you know what I mean? Not as much as if you felt like the teacher didn't support you. My husband is Reggie Hogue, and he is a black African-American man. We met in South Carolina January about five years ago, and um, that's where all this started. My parents were a little bit more hesitant about the relationship of him being a black man and me being white. Um, they were a little bit more hesitant with it because, honestly, I don't know, maybe just all the stereotypes that come with being an African-American man. They finally got to know who he was, they were like, oh, okay, he's just a normal person, just regular, he's gonna take care of my daughter. And then when we decided to get married, they were all for it, they were all about it, and now he's just a part of the family. Yes, we get looks, not all the time, but it definitely depends on the crowd that we're around. So it's usually the older generation that has, not problems, but they have the looks, they have the, the mean faces. Just because you're that color doesn't mean you're gonna act that way. You're the stereotypical white person, the stereotypical whatever person. That's not how you're gonna act. I think if you prejudge people by who they look like, you're definitely selling yourself short because you could have another friend in that person. You, that could be the person you're supposed to marry, but because you don't wanna look at them and you don't wanna get to know them, people really need to get over what color anybody is. Oh, you're lighter, you're darker, you're this, you're that. It doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, Reggie is still Reggie, I'm still me, we're the same person. And it's, it's wonderful. Thanks, Melissa, for that great story about Miss Hogue. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Don't forget, Giants, AP testing starts Monday, May 1st, and will go through until the 12th. Make sure you're on time for school each and every day, and you're drinking lots of water and getting enough sleep. Good luck, Giants. situated plant plant your bottle in a corner and sit down this is the system they came up with to get this person out and save somebody's life okay I'm Tyler Burgess I am homeschooled that's just how we've always done it all my life my mom teaches us a lot and like some homeschoolers do book work on the computer but I do most of it by book I go to the Area 31 Fire Science Program. My mom heard from my mom's friend that her kid was going to do like the computer science program. So I was like, oh, let's see if we can get you signed up. You can work when public schoolers can't and do lots of stuff. I plan on going to Ivy Tech and get an associate's degree in fire science. 
And then from there, go to IUPUI and get a degree in criminal justice and ultimately become an FBI agent. Being a triplet is fun, but sometimes it's not. Um, we grew up always having someone to play with, so that was always really nice. But we can get on each other's nerves, too. I'm only the oldest by a minute from Seth and two from Ryan, so a lot of times they don't consider me being the oldest. Um, but I kind of consider myself the oldest just in the fact that, um, not that I take care of them, but that I'm kind of the big, the big sister looking out for them. You know, for guys, it's like their dad is like their role model all their life and like their hero. I don't really have that anymore. Everybody around me pushed me to do my best and coach always gave us sessions um, before practice and before games and on the bus ride home uh, just to do our schoolwork and make sure we have our grades up. And my parents always pushed me to do my best, my mom and my dad and everybody around me just Never let me forget the school comes first and try to balance everything on and off the soccer field. Um, a lot of people when you have a twin or a triplet say that you always have a best friend and I don't know if that's true all the time uh, but sometimes it definitely is. We grew up um, with lots of siblings actually but having someone your own age uh, never left you without someone to play with especially my brother since they are both boys. Um, playing soccer, football in the backyard, and I was usually the cheerleader for them. Um... Great work, Anaya. Here's what Mariah has to say about this week's weather. Thanks, guys. With summer quickly approaching, our weather just keeps getting better. I'm Mariah Dragonette here with your weekly weather forecast. Today, we'll see some showers in the afternoon with a high of 75 and a low of 62. Tomorrow, we'll see some scattered thunderstorms throughout the day with a high of 82 and a low of 66. Sunday, we have more possibilities of thunderstorms and windy conditions with a high of 82 and a low of 65. Monday, we'll see some showers in the morning hours along with a drop in temperature with a high reaching 65 and a low of 48. Tuesday, we'll warm back up with partly sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 51. Wednesday, the temperature will keep rising with sunny skies and some high clouds reaching a high of 73 and a low of 50. Thursday, we'll see more possibilities of thunderstorms throughout the day with a high of 80 and a low of 50. Although there are many possibilities of rainy conditions this week, at least the temperature will still be up in the 70s and 80s. I'm Mariah Dragonette, BD TV. The Ben Davis Relay for Life team, organized by Key Club, is selling t-shirts to raise funds and awareness of all the amazing programs organized by the American Cancer Society. Relay for Life starts on Saturday, May 20th at 10 a.m. through 10 p.m. Order your t-shirt so you can help us stand up to cancer. I first resided in Wayne Township whenever I was about six years old. Beforehand, I used to live in Decatur Township, and whenever I first came into Wayne Township, I attended Chapelwood, but here I am a good 11 years later, and now I'm a junior at Ben Davis. The one activity I'm most involved in with school would have to be orchestra. Music is one of my passions. Other activities I'm involved with would have to be theater, which I just started doing this year. Last year, I was involved with speech. I'm involved with the Spanish club. I'm involved with BD Pack and chemistry club. I never really show too much concern about my sexuality in school or at work because it's usually one of those things that people don't often ask me about. Like, 
they'll say something to me every now and again if they don't know who I am. Like, oh, are you gay? And I'll just reply with, yes, I'm gay. Some people are always just like, oh, I'm so happy for you. And then you get some of those people like, ugh, you're disgusting. But I try not to let it get to me because I am who I am and I've come a long way. My name is Mr. Jericho Hughes. I teach choir here at Ben Davis High School. Before coming into teaching, I did want to be a performer for a while. Um, and what really changed my mind was my student teaching experience in which I got really, really close to the students. And I found out then that the teaching profession is more so about students than it is about the content that you teach. I do think that opening up about my sexuality and more so just opening up to my students in general has helped them to relate to me as a human being and not as this fake facade of a person. And like I say before, that connection is what makes education, education. I think that it's very important to have close relationships with students. It is the basis of education, in my opinion. Um, it's hard to learn from people that you don't like. It's hard to learn from people that you don't relate to. And so just having that connection helps them to stay motivated. It helps them to stay engaged in their own education. So I wanted to be an advocate for other members of the LGBT community, students that is, who aren't as comfortable in coming out and they need to know that it's okay to be them and that they have a role model that they can look up to or come to for advice. Mm -hmm. Running up next is Evelyn with sports. Softball had their spring classic last weekend going two and two, beating East Central and Christmas Addicts. Congratulations to Alexis Russell for being named player of the game. They also picked up another win against Pike with scores of eight to one. Golf went to county on Monday and got 12 overall. Senior R.J. Turner shot 76, leading them to 7th overall. On Tuesday, they were against Speedway and Ritter at Brickyard Crossing. R.J. Turner led with 39, and sophomore Levi Pierport shot at 43. Baseball beat Decatur 4-2, but lost Friday 6-2. They bounced back by beating Pike Tuesday 7-3, and again on Wednesday 8-1. The girls' tennis team had a tough loss against Ron Colley, leaving the score at 1-4 on Monday. Girls and Boys Track will be competing at Nick tonight at IU Bloomington, so come out and support. For more sports information, check on Twitter at Giant Athletics or on BDSpotlight.com. Now on to entertainment with Gabby and Melissa. You are beautiful. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, thank you. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Thanks. But you're so cute. Uh, you're thank so you. Cute. You're right. All right. I appreciate you. You're so beautiful. You're such a beautiful person. Thank you. I appreciate that. Aww. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're so handsome. Thank you. I just say you're such a beautiful person inside and out. Thank you. It's very sweet. You are so adorable. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So are you. I like your eyebrows. They're so cute. <laughs> I don't know, because cause you're a beautiful person, that's why. Ben Davis students, what's poppin'? It's your man, B. Slip. Yes, I am here, and I'm ready to get you going for prom. Are you excited? Because I know I am. We are not too far away. You have to do me a favor. Run to the comments. Get your tickets now. Why? Because prom last year was lit. You don't believe me? It's videos all over the internet where you can see how crazy it was. Hey, sir, 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 sir. And we want to make sure you're there this year. I'm back. They said Swift. Prime was too lit last year. There's no way you can't come back. You gotta come back and do it. So I'm here and, I, and I'm ready and I'm excited. So May the 6th is the date. You need to find your date right now. If you're going by yourself, cool. Just link up with your homies or your homegirls and let them know it's gonna be a serious party because B Swift, Hot 963, definitely in the building. And we got a lot of reasons to celebrate, you feel me? So I want you there with me. Prom is going down. Go to the comments, like right now. Like, right? You should be on your way to the comments as you're hearing this. Go to the comments. Get your tickets, all right? Well, it looks like that's a wrap for this week, Giants. And as always, thanks for watching. If, if it's, it's about, about you and, and me, me, it's on BDTV. Owlbin, to clear up things. An exciting experience that can open up many opportunities. Your city and and the summer program, the summer good
But it's also a time the world will be seen. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not nice. Let's do our spit. If it's about you and me, it's on BDTV.